Before you step outside, glorify God. After you step outside, glorify God. When you return, glorify God. For your child, you glorify God. For your wife, you glorify God. For your husband, you glorify God. For God creating you, you glorify God. For your job, you glorify God. If you lose your job, you glorify God. If you lose your child, you glorify God. If you lose your wife, you lose your husband, you glorify God. If everything is beautiful, you glorify God. When it turns ugly, it's really beautiful, you glorify God. So, always glorify God. No matter what you do, you glorify God. You're broke with no money, you glorify God. You're rich and eating like you want. Well, glorify God. Don't glorify them riches. You know? So that's what you do, glorify God. When you're preaching the Bible, glorify God. When the Holy Council is teaching you, you're glorifying God. When you say you take up you took up the cross, you glorifying God. So always glorify God. And no never glorify anything less. Treasure and love what God gives you. Always glorify God. You know? So, love God with your heart, mind, and soul. Always. See, remember that because that's, what's, that's what needs to be taught, actually. And you taught us like a lot. A lot of principalities, a lot of folks, a lot of people are not doing that. So remember, love God with your heart, mind, and soul. And God will know if you do or not. Glorify God. Take up your cross. Simply love God. Don't love your sins, don't love your life, don't love your mistakes. Don't, don't go around loving other sermons or despising the other sermons. Love God so you can spread love. 